Hi, I'm David from OCA. Uh, we are a small digital studio based in Montreal. Uh, we've been working with directors for the last two years. Um, and today I'm going to talk to you about a small form builder extension that we've built for directors and that we're going to open source uh, soon, hopefully. <laughs> um, so let's start. So uh, the main feature that our clients have been missing uh, since we migrated away from WordPress has been the form builder. Uh, not sure if you're familiar with Gravity Forms, which is one form, uh, complex form builder that is available in the WordPress ecosystem uh, that allow end users to configure forms uh, with conditions, with advanced fields, uh, with notification, uh, even integrations with uh, external systems. Uh, so all those portions are uh, quite easy to build with directives apart from uh, the advanced form builder uh, we were able to build a, a basic form builder using uh, native features from directives but um, they were not as easy for a end user to configure uh, and creating a complex form builders with conditions uh, and wizards like features uh, is quite a big uh, endeavor uh, so that's why we chose to uh, we actually started looking into open source project that could help us. And that's where we came across a library called Servid.js. Uh, so basically Servid.js has two main, comp two main components. Uh, one is called Servid Creator. Uh, the Servid Creator is what the end user um, used to create the form or survey. Uh, it's quite powerful. And the other important portion is form library, or should I say libraries? Now, form libraries, they basically take in the JSON coming from the survey creator to render a form. Uh, they have library for Angular, uh, Vue.js, React, vanilla JavaScript, um, and probably other frameworks that for, oh yeah, and Backbone, uh, if they're still user of Backbones. But anyway, yeah. So the only, when we found that, we found that it was uh, basically doing everything we needed from a form perspective. So the only thing left was to integrate with directors. Uh, and that's where we created uh, our first extension, actually, uh, our first, or should I say first public extension for directors. Um, so let me jump into that. Uh, I'll do, do a quick demo of what we've built. Um, the main features that we wanted to implement were, um, well, of course, integrating the survey creator, uh, the ability to save forms or the form data uh, in any collection, and finally send notification to either internal users or external users after a form was filled. So here, as you can see, uh, we have our small form module. So I'll jump into uh, contact us form. Uh, um, I'll start with the form builder portion. Here we have the basic form, two columns, first name, last name, or key mail. Uh, we have a drop down with some choices, um, subject of the, the form. Uh, in here we have our first condition. So, for example, I have a condition here that say if the uh, subject is product information, then we will display what specific product information are you looking for. Uh, if it shows customer support, then instead it's going to be what's your issue. Um, I want this. I want demo all the features of uh, sorry GS. Uh, there's a lot of documentation. You can look it up on their website. Uh, but yeah, it's a fairly powerful form builder. Um, then afterwards. We have the actual integration with directives. Uh, so if I go into the configuration of the form, uh, let me hide that for now. So yeah, what we do have is the schema that was generated by the form builder. Uh, technically, technically, you could edit the schema itself, uh, but easier to use the form builder instead. Uh, please note though that the form builder of SurgeGS does require a license. Uh, we we do have the configuration to input your license in the extension, so that's good. But just so you're aware, 
uh, it does require a license from uh, SurveyGS to use the Survey Creator. Uh, anyway, so what I was saying is here we have the configuration, so we could see, we can see that uh, it's submitting data to form submission collection. Uh, you can choose any collection that you want. You can create a new one. You can have multiple forms submitting to the same collection. It's really depend on your um, requirements, basically. We also have notification templates. I'll, I'll show. Uh, I'll explain how notification templates work afterwards. Um, and did I forget anything? No, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, actually, let's jump in into notification template first. So if somebody submit or fill in that form, uh, as I mentioned, you can configure one or more notification templates. So let's jump into it. Uh, form templates, um, use directors flows. Uh, you can use any fields that was part of the form as um, as the recipient, for example. If you want to have more than one, uh, you can add other recipient. In this case, we're using the field work email. Um, but you could also uh, add an art coded one, for example, someone on your team. Uh, uh, the template is, itself is pure HTML, uh, but same thing. Uh, there's basic templating, so you can use um, variables from the, con from the form. In this case, the contact us form. So let's try and submit one and three. So I'm going to go back to my form, contact us form. Uh, Going to enable my preview. Here in this case, it's an XGS uh, application. So it's a React component that we built that is uh, basically reading the schema here and passing the schema to the um, to the sorry GS library. Um, and once you're done submitting the form, uh, it it's going to call a webhook from directors to save the data. So let's try that. So of course we do have validation. So let's let me fill the form. Uh, we're based in North America, so we want to chat about uh, product information, uh, customer support, I guess. I'm not sure if this form is going to actually send an email. Um, yeah, this field is not required, so uh, yeah, I'm not, not going to fill it. I'm just going to complete the form. Thanks, no problem. So if we go into our contact us entries, um, we can see my entry, all the fields that were fill, filled in with the data that was passed. And if we look at our notifications that were generated, uh, we can see here, we do have the new notification the email that it was sent to, uh, the actual content of the email. So you have a, uh, and a status, so you know if it, it was uh, fully sent or not. Uh, it does link back to uh, the entry, if needed, that, generate, that, that generated that uh, notification. And once the form is submitted, we can see my email that I received the uh, confirmation uh, template. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, so that's pretty much how the um, extension work. If we look at our flows, there's a couple of flows that need to be configured, but it's not that complex. Um, most of the features are built in feature from directors or survey GS. So most of the extension is gluing together the, the two great products, basically. Uh, we do have some configuration that you can um, pass to the survey GS extension. So for example, uh, if you want to show the designer tab, uh, the JSON tab, depending on your users, you might not want them to uh, be able to see the JSON. So for example, you can disable that, save the settings. Uh, and if you go back to the actual form, uh, you see I don't have access to the JSON editor here. Uh, so we made that we made sure that we could configure every settings from a uh, survey, survey creator directly from directors. 
So hopefully um, it's an extension that uh, some of you will find useful. Uh, we're hoping to release the extension in the next month. Uh, we just want to make sure that it comes with clear in installation instruction. Um, but yeah, uh, it was the main feature for us that was missing from directors. Everything else has been great. We're really happy having migrating from WordPress to directors. Um, and with that last missing piece of the puzzle, we, we now have a complete toolkit to uh, finalize our projects. So thank you very much.